y'all. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira, and today I am doing a Dupe the Vibes video of the, thank you truck, of the ColourPop Darth Vader palette. When that palette originally came out, which I think was a couple of weeks ago now, I was really interested in it. I love the color story. I love the cool gray tones with that pop of like metallic red. And I'll put a picture up so you guys can see the palette that I am referencing. And I just think it's a beautiful color story. But it's also a color story that I feel like I can dupe fairly easily with the shadows that are in my collection. And not only that, as I was preparing for this video and pulling palettes, I decided to do a little experiment and see how much of that palette I could actually dupe using ColourPop palettes I already own. So if you are interested in seeing that, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, four palettes, and then I have this big palette here, which um, if you've ever seen my duping, uh, my, I'm sorry, my depotting video, I depotted all of my ColourPop um, nine pan monochromatic palettes. So this is everything that I kept from those palettes. So I was going to reference, use this as a reference as well, if needed. Um, there's a couple of shades in here that might work, but I honestly feel, you know, maybe something like this one or this one, I think these two might work. But I honestly feel like I have a lot of what I need right here. So first up, let's start with the palette. Let's start from the top with the shade Stormtrooper, which is this sort of um, champagne type metallic. Now I've seen reviews for this palette and uh, um, it actually is a super shock shadow. So it's that really bouncy, almost like putty like textured formula from color pop that they're known for their super shock shadows which is like the first shadows that they ever came out with um so it's got that sort of like super glittery super metallic-y but very soft almost wet like feel to it so i don't have anything like that um i don't own any super shocks anymore at least i don't think i do no but i wanted to look in here and see if i had a champagne-y tone that might work now I have these shades like here and here, but these are actually quite, if you'll see, these are actually quite warm and almost orange toned. So I don't think those would work, but let's look in it for a sight. I don't have anything here. Gather around sisters. Mulan. Now I have this shade here, which might actually work. It is more of a glitter. I believe this is actually a pressed glitter in the Mulan um, ColourPop palette. So let's use that one for now. I'm going to just swatch that here. I think this might go on a little more glittery, less champagne-y, but I'm just going to hold that in reserve for now. It's definitely got that sort of cool tone vibe. It's not very warm, so it might actually work in the end, but we'll see. Next up is the shade Imperial Forces, and it's sort of like a grayish toned or really cool toned matte. Now, let me see here. This shade, which is ironically called Imperial as well, might work in the Mulan palette. It might be a little too brown though. Or would that work better for Battle Station? Hmm. Hmm. Let us see. What's in here? And we have Halo, Halo, <laughs> Hello Salem, which is more peachy toned, if you can see that. Um, I don't know. Let me swatch these and see. I feel like this one would work, but I think it would work better for, and I have to say, I feel like the two shades, the Imperial Forces and Battle Station are quite similar in tone, probably too similar in my opinion in that palette. So I might reserve this one for Battle Station. This one is definitely too pink. So I'm gonna wipe that off. Oh my gosh, that's so pigmented. <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> 
All right. Let me look in here. Do I have anything in here? No. Let's look in at Forsyth. Again, very pink. Hmm. I may have to start pulling other things in. Let's see here. Yeah, let's look at what I have over here. All right, guys, so I pull, I decided I'm going to have to pull some other um, palettes just for the shades that I'm looking for. And I pulled two of my old Milani palettes. They don't make these palettes anymore, um, but I feel like these, this, both of these have quite a few things that I can use for this palette recreation or dupe you know, the vibe of this palette. So I'm thinking even this shade here might be a good option for Stormtroopers. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's a better option. I like that. Okay, so we're going to use that one for Stormtrooper. And then here, as you can see, I have these two shades and these palettes, these shadows don't have names, but these two shades are the shades that came to my mind as soon as I realized I didn't have anything here, I immediately thought of these two shades. So this will be my Imperial Forces shade. And this will be my Battle Station shade. I think that's perfect, actually. I'm actually quite happy with that. All right, next, let's move on to Gone Galactic. Now, this looks sort of like a slightly cooler bronze shade. So I could use something in here. I could use maybe something like this, but that's actually quite warm, actually. Nah, I won't use that. But I feel like I might have something in here, maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? Let's look in Gather Round Sisters. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to go with this shade here in the Soft and Sultry palette. It's not as, um, it's not as sparkly. I'm sorry, I got the mirror blinding you guys. But I'm going to use this as a placeholder for now. And this is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. It's just such a perfect cool tone palette. It has basically all of the tones of cool, the, you know, range of cool tones that I would want to use. Now, there is another palette that... <laughs> If you watch my declutter video, you saw me declutter this. And then after I finished filming, I kept looking at it and looking at it and I hadn't used it yet. I took the plastic off. I haven't swatched it or touched it or anything. But if you look at this palette, if you can see why I decided to pull this in, because we have this shade Sabotage here, which Gone Galactic is a bit more golden. And the other shade that's sort of like a pewter kind of metallic is Death Star. But I just wanted to see if this could give me in any way what I was looking for. I just want to see. Hmm. I actually like this shade better for this. It's not as golden. It's not as golden. I feel like this is a little too, too bronze, too warm tone. This one isn't as cool gold as the one in the ColourPop palette, but I like the tone of it better. Let's see what I have in here. And this is just a few of my little singles that I have here. Yeah, and I have quite a few options for these, the gray Death Star shade. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. I think I'm gonna use this one because I personally like it better. I actually like it better than what's in the palette itself, like the actual palette. Yeah, so this will be my Gone Galactic. And next up, of course, we have the star of this palette, which is the red metallic. Now, I have a couple of red metallics in the Mulan palette. I have the un this shade Undefeated, and I have the shade Loya, which is more of a pressed glitter. And I think... 
honestly, having seen swatches of the um, one in the Darth Vader palette, I feel like this shade is actually perfect for it. Look at that. Yeah, I think that's a perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's so creamy too. I actually really like the Mulan palette. It's not like ColourPop's best formula they've ever ha they've ever had, but the metallics in this palette perform so beautifully. So yeah, that was actually easier than I thought. Let's go with this one, and that is Undefeated from the Mulan palette. So pretty. Next we have Death Star. Now, I've got a couple of options for Death Star. I have this shade here, which is from the Blowing Smoke palette. Really pretty. That is an option. That's stunning. And then I have this shade from the Blowing Smoke palette as well. A little bit darker, not quite as intense of a metallic, I feel like. And then we have the shades here in Baroque. Now, the thing about the shades here in Baroque, they're a bit more on the bluey side. So I don't know if they'll work, but let me just swatch etiquette and see. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit blue. All right, so we're gonna go with this shade from the um, Blowing Smoke Palette. And if you hear crumpling, that's me literally just wiping my fingers off between swatches. Um, let's go with this shade from Blowing Smoke. That's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. All right, so we've got our Death Star shade. Now let's do the Empire. And again, we're gonna open this one back up because I immediately thought of this shade here from Blowing Smoke. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. So pretty. I was originally gonna swatch on this side, but eh, we're just gonna go with it. Next up we have Dark Side, and there are two shades I immediately thought of, and they're actually both in other ColourPop palettes. So let's, let me wipe my fingers off really well so I can swatch, give you guys a really good swatch, and let's see here, so I think it's this one, yeah. Okay, so you have the Gather Round Sisters and you have the Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop at Forest Sight. Do you guys see which shades I'm talking about? Can you tell? It's this one here. I call it a bus. So pretty and I totally swatch way too much and then let it rain. Look at that. This one has more of a gold shift, like a more like an actual like bronzy gold shift. This one is more sparkly. You can kind of tell that the sparkles are a bit more, this was more smooth and this has a bit more chunk, a little more chunk to it. But both of these, I feel like, are good options. So I'm going to swatch them both. Oh. And see what I get. Wow. Look at that. Look how, guys, those are like basically dupes for each other. But this one, I think, is a better option because of that gold, which it looks like is what is in that dark side shade. It has a bit more of a gold shift right there. So yeah, we're going to go with the Let It Rain shade from the uh, Raw Beauty Christie palette. But it's insane how similar these are. Like on the eye, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. That's wild. And then next up we have, I think this is Sith Lord. I don't have... Yeah, Sith Lord. Okay, and this is just a burgundy. And I feel like burgundy schmurgundy, you know, you can find a burgundy pretty much anywhere. Um, but it is more of a cool toned burgundy. So it's more like, um, almost like a brownie toned burgundy. Nothing in there. Nothing in Gather Round. This one could work, but it's a bit more on the purple toned side. Same goes for this one. So these are out. And then let's see what's in the Disney Mulan. Yeah, that's just a traditional, like, chalk, cool tone chocolate. Let's, if I can get this shadow off my fingers, look how, look how pigmented that is. This is after I've wiped my fingers off. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not finding anything that is deep enough. Now, there is this shade Lounge in Baroque, but I feel like this is still going to be a little too purple. See that? I feel like that might be a little too purple. But it might work really well with this shade. Hmm. I like these two together. But there is a tonal difference to the shades in the, the, the real palette. It's more of an actual true burgundy. Do I have an actual true burgundy in front of me? Let's try this shade Power from this Black Widow palette. The shade here. This is more, hmm. See, that's like a burgundy burgundy. I don't know if I like that so much. Like for me, hmm. For me, if I were like making this palette, which technically I am, but if I was making this palette when they created the color story, I would have chosen something like this. Now the shade that they have in the palette is actually really pretty, but it's kind of a it's kind of a mixture of these two shades. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. I like the look of these two shades with the rest of this as opposed to this shade with this shade and then the rest of this, if that makes sense. It just is more, um, it feels more cohesive. It gives a little more depth. I feel like this looks like the odd man out with the rest of this, especially considering how warm it is and this is quite cool. So yes, I'm gonna go with this shade here, which I believe is from, where did I get that shade from? Where did I get that from? Yeah, this is Lounge from the Baroque palette. All right, so I'm going to wipe my hand off. I'm gonna re-swatch these so you guys can see all the shades that I chose in one, and I will put up a photo of the original palette so we can see how I did. All right, guys, so I have re-swatched everything on my hand, and this is what I have come up with, or on my arm, rather, and this is what I have come up with. So this is my version of the ColourPop Darth Vader palette. I don't think I did too shabby. I wanted to do, see if I could find another shade that was just as burgundy, but cool, but kind of like purpley, but I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with this because I actually really like these two shades together. And as cute as that shade is in the palette, like it's a, it's a nice little pop. I do wonder what that looks like actually looks like on the eye because I have a feeling that it's probably more cool tone than it looks in the pan. So I think this might be a pretty decent iteration of that. What do you guys think? I think this is really pretty. I want to find, maybe possibly find a more golden tone, but out of the ones that I had selected here to play with, I liked this one the best. So I might eventually, like if I decide to do a look with this, swap this out for something else, but I'm not mad at it at the moment. I think it's pretty decent. But yeah, guys, that is my ColourPop Darth Vader duping the vibes. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I did a good job? I got pretty close, not close enough. Also, do you own the Darth Vader palette? And are you, or are you thinking of getting the Darth Vader palette? I was very interested in it. This kind of, um, killed that desire to buy it, honestly, because, and I honestly, I, I knew when I looked at it that I had all of those shades. So as much as I was interested in buying it, I knew that I probably in all likelihood was not going to because of that fact. And this for me just kind of helped reiterate why I don't need to buy that palette. But yeah, tell me in the comments, are you still interested in it? Did watching this kind of make you go, you know what? Actually, I have those shades too. Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like. And if you are not subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now. Mm -hmm.